This video is on the biggest mistakes people make when they're using first aid. Now, first aid is a fantastic resource. It's like the holy grail of step one resources, but people use it incorrectly. Let me tell you what first aid is and what first aid isn't. First aid is a great outline of what you need to know. It tells you what can be tested, but it doesn't teach you the material. So it tells you what you need to know, but it's up to you to kind of learn the material on your own, using your different resources, Pathoma, Osmosis, Boards and Beyond, all that stuff, right? So it tells you what you need to know, it's up to you to learn it. Let me give you an example. If you look at the microbial section of first aid, you'll see Clostridium difficile. You'll say C. diff associated with ampicillin, clindamycin, PPI, pseudomembranes, okay? So you're looking at this material, you're looking at this page in first aid, and you have two options of what you can do. Option A is you just write down what it says on your notes. C. diff, ampicillin, clindamycin, PPI, pseudomembranes, or you write it down on an Anki card, right? That's option A. Option B, you say, why is it associated with clindamycin, ampicillin, PPI? What is a pseudomembrane? I'm gonna find out. So you do a little bit deeper dive, look into your resources, look on Google, you find out, oh, is C. diff is associated with wide spectrum antibiotics because it can disrupt the gut flora, cause C. diff overgrow, like uh, antibiotics like ampicillin, clindamycin, wink, wink. It's associated with PPIs because it lowers the pH in your stomach, can disrupt gut flora. It's uh, called pseudomembranes because in the colon you see these yellow membranes and they biopsy the mem these membranes, realized they weren't membranes, they were exudate and pus. So they couldn't call it membranes, so you had to call it pseudomembranes. Oh, that's why they call it pseudomembranes. I understand much more about C. diff. I've actually learned the material. That's option B. So it's very evident which option is actually learning the material. It's option B, right? They did a deeper dive, understood it, really learned the material. Now, which option is more common? If you said option B, you'd be 100% wrong. It's actually, actually option A. A lot of people look at first aid and just write down what they see on first aid and think that's learning. That's not learning. That's memorization. That's rote memorization. You haven't learned the material. You don't understand the material, but that's the most common. Now, let me ask you another question. Which of those two options it's more time consuming. It's more time consuming. You might say, oh, it's a person that takes a deeper dive. That's gonna take more time. I argue they actually save more time. These people that do rote memorization that never learn the material, they actually consume more time. It actually takes more time. Because they never really learn the material, they have to keep looking at their notes, have to keep using Anki, have to keep recalling it. These are people that say, I've gone over first aid three, four times but I can't recall the information. When I take the U world question, I get them wrong because I can't seem to understand what they're saying because they never learned the material in the first place. So these people actually take up more time. You're actually saving time by actually learning the material in the first place. All right, so those are your two options when you see what's on first aid. Option B is obviously the correct option. I can't tell you what camp you fall in. Only you can. You have to be honest with yourself. You have to be honest with yourself because if you're doing this rote memorization, it's not going to pay off. It's not going to pay off. You're going to get a lower score. You have to jump ship and make sure you learn the material. Only you can prevent forest fires now. Only you know what camp you're in. All right. So that's the biggest mistakes people mistake people you make when they're using first aid and it's the most common. Now here's another thing that people ask me or they tell me. They say, my school curriculum doesn't teach the first aid. What do I do? Or they say, do you depend on your school curriculum to teach the first aid? And the answer to that is no. Nobody should depend on their school curriculum to teach the first aid. Virtually no school teach exactly the first aid. That doesn't exist. It, does, it shouldn't exist. It's a medical school, not a book club. Right? They don't gather you all together on Tuesday and say, hey, did everybody read page 200? Let's discuss that. No. It's a medical school, not a book club. So they're gonna teach you some things in first aid, but they're also gonna leave out some things in first aid. Now, you're confronted with this. There are two options of what you can do. You can do option A where you say, oh, they taught me this in first aid, but they left this out. I'm gonna just not learn the material. That's option A. Option B is saying, oh, they taught me this in first aid, but they also left this out. I'm gonna take it up on myself to learn this material, use my resources and learn this material. Those are your two options. Which option is more common? If you said option B, you're very optimistic, but you're also very wrong. It's option A. A lot of people just don't learn the material. A lot of the people don't learn the material all the way until dedicated study time. Two years have passed, they still haven't learned the material. Now, only now when they're doing UWorld and, and practice exams do they realize, oh, they're missing a lot of material. What do I do? Help me, help me, what do I do? I say, well, you knew that they didn't teach the material since the first day of lecture. It was up to you to learn that material that was in first aid. 
All right, again, only you know which camp you fall into, camp A or camp B. Make sure you fall into the right camp. Okay, first aid is a fantastic resource. You just gotta make sure you use it appropriately. Done.